What's up guys and gals of the internet? Thanks for tuning in once again to The Juice. And today, we're gonna talk about video game demos. Now, why are we talking about video game demos, you might ask? Well, you see, I was browsing around the PlayStation Store the other day, and I noticed, you know what has a free trial going on right now? What some might refer to as a demo. Dishonored 2. This game okay. that's been on my radar, I hadn't really played it, but I picked it up now. This game's fantastic. And then it made me think, why are demos not around anymore? Yeah. So what's your guys' opinion on demos in general? And why are you doing it? We're going to play the demo yeah. for uh, Dishonored 2, not Persona. Speaking of um, demos that came out like randomly late after the game was released, Mafia 3 got a demo the other day. I saw that. I was yeah. like, that's a strange one to put out like, now, out but okay. And like, I remember the article, the headline was like, oh, the demo of Mafia 3 uh, introduced you to a, a, a strange high situation or something. Yeah. It's like hmm. the beginning of the game, but it's like, why not have that preview for the you know, put that out when the game comes yeah. out. People yeah, who yeah. are on the on the uh, the, on the edge. Yeah, yeah. My thing is like, I I played the mess. Demos were huge in the PS2 era, yeah. and there were a lot of games even in the PS3. Yeah. There were a lot of games that I hadn't played. I didn't know if I was gonna buy it. I played the demo, and it made me realize, oh hey, yeah, I, want I want this want game. This game's game. awesome. Yeah. That's even uh, the, well, everybody. Also everybody, everybody looks weird in this game. Everybody has like weird slender faces. And, but uh, anyways. Uh, we're gonna skip past this. Probably because of all the but my thing is like and rats. Disease. This game I played this uh, Dishonored two without a doubt. I'm gonna play this game after Persona now. Oh. Like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it after I play Persona. You know what I mean? Because of this one demo. So then why don't they try to capitalize on this anymore? Why do you think they don't do it? Um, I think mainly it's oh, honestly yeah. I think because gaming is more prominent. I know that sounds weird. You'd think that if it got bigger, there'd be more demos. But I think how media oh. works for gaming now, you don't really need demos. Uh -huh. yeah. um, just because a lot of it is like, you know, the first 15 minutes of, of X game, of mm -hmm. gamer, but the first look at, you know, the, the dungeon in Dark Souls. Oh, I'm about to pounce or, on You know, stuff like that. So I think just how media is for gaming now, you don't really need it. You can just watch a video about it now. And they Yay. don't have to put those resources into making a certain, like, uh, sectioned off portion of the game yeah to play. but don't you think that that would probably help still um, if like because some games as you know like watching it and playing it are two different things like there's a different yeah. feel to a game if you actually play it i i can't see that i just i think there's just such a demand for games to get out now that's mm -hmm. just one thing they most come um, honestly i think what really sold me on the like the final fantasy 15 was the the platinum demo yeah i think that that happened for a lot of people yeah and for that for that type of game, yes, I do think for RPGs and stuff like that, where their systems evolve, that people should get their hands on. I agree. I just think that since you know, I think you notice games are coming out more frequently than they have in the past. Yeah, oh, there are more sure. games and, being made. And and since of that, uh, since that is a fact, I think um, game demos are just something that a lot of developers have decided to kind of just. You can just like sit around front of them and say, oh, I don't see nobody. Yeah, I'm all <laughs> <girl> shit hidden. <laughs> I'm the master. Master of Stealth, Corvo Atano. But yeah, what are, what are some demos you guys remember that you loved when you were uh, little? Well, when I was little, or even more recent, just a demo you loved uh, in general. Just Cause Two, really? Demo. It did. Uh, I remember that demo. Just because it literally gave you a time limit, and it was just see what you can do, and that was a great introduction to the game because it really did. You just uh, went and tried to blow things up. Yeah, because it harped on the fact that you can. You know, the game really is like a sandbox in terms of like you can really just blow up whatever you want. And you could try out tricks, you know, work the parachute and see how high in the area you could, could have got. And it did a good job of that. I remember, like, I used to, like, YouTube uh, glitches to make the time, like, infinite. Yeah. You could just play around. Like, you know, stuff like that was fun. And um, another demo that I really enjoyed, probably, this is early, early. Oh, oh, but, goodness. Uh, Sam and Trace demo? I don't even remember. That's a good I question. I can't remember either. That's on. I'm it, not might, it might have just been good playing the game. Like, Watch this. I'm going to stab why, him. Like, uh, it's funny they haven't played the demo in so long. Oh, like, I can't even remember. I didn't know you could do that. I never did that the first time I did this. Did you see that? I stabbed right. that man and broke his neck. Yeah, that's a little excessive. That was dope. It's like a double kill. Yeet. Yeet. Clark, any demos you remember of your childhood? Like the only one I remember playing like heavily, you know, because most demos are only out for like a couple days. Yeah. Um, but I remember playing the Alien vs. Predators, uh, Colonial Marines, Colonial Marines, and you know the game didn't turn out as well as people hoped. But I remember playing 
the mess out of the demo. Had a lot like, of fun with the demo, huh? I had a lot of fun demos because, like, you had teams. It was, you know, aliens versus the Predators versus the Marines. And so you have three teams all trying to kill each other, and I'm on, like, playing with some friends, and we're all on the same team, so we're all either aliens or Predators. And I don't know. It was just something that I remember having a lot of fun with yeah. uh, playing. And, and I don't think demos are completely gone. I mean, obviously. Like, yeah, because I, I remember. Ask, VR titles. Do you think demos have been replaced with betas and things like that? Mm-hmm. Um, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Because um, multiplayer games especially, it's almost impossible to really sell a multiplayer game without letting people try it without a purchase. Yeah. So multiplayer games are very much an investment in terms of, you know, do I want to get into this? Oh, you got a gun. I want a gun that looks like that. That's a dope looking gun. Yeah, it is a pretty cool. Put it on oh, the wall. and the mask. I want a mask too. The mask looks so dope. I need your seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you put that on. You, you yeah, you ain't seeing like, nothing. You have yeah. some visual issues there. Um, oh, got some yeah, gold. Like, see the demos like in VR now because that is something you definitely need. To yeah. Do. Yeah, For you sure. need to, to mess around with VR things like that. Um, I mean, Resident Evil recently. So like there are a couple, it's not nearly as much. There's not nearly as many as yeah. there were. Uh, you know, do you think they need to make a comeback is my question? Um, I actually don't. And the reason why I don't is because, you know, how many times is there a game come out that if you want to know about it, you look up yeah. on YouTube or you look up uh, just people's first impressions of the game. I think media for gaming has changed and it's kind of evolved to a point where mm-hmm. there's people that you trust uh, media wise uh, yeah. and there's people's opinion that you trust and I think what that lends itself is not necessarily having to try it for yourself just saying hey I like this guy I like his opinion what does he think about his first couple hours of uh-huh. the game and if he's liking it I'm mostly going to like it I'm most uh, likely going to like it because only rebuttal I don't know man I really like I mean I see your point mm-hmm. and I know that there's multiple people that think the same way but I definitely think that like I have to get my hands on the game yeah, just when, to know you played it, it feels what, different. Yeah, just, I mean, before I get a straight dive into a game, I mean, of course, if I see like a trailer and I'm like, it doesn't matter if the game plays crap, I'm gonna get this game just because it looks cool at the point, at, like just because of a trailer. Parkour. It doesn't matter if I have this played the game or not. There's some games that I'm just I'm getting it no matter what. Oh yeah. But then there's other games that like I do have to play the gameplay. I do have to see what it is like. Got to get your hands yeah, on. You're it. right. It, it's and and it gets to a point like like you said like I think demos are now kind of getting a little obsolete. Because now we have, like you said, the the betas and then uh, the media. Yeah, just media. Media, media coverage. Just media coverage, games, really. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a definitely a situational thing. I think it does depend on the game. Like uh, something like Dishonored 2, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Like this is a game that without a doubt, like I played the first Dishonored and I loved it, but I think there were other things going on. I just didn't have time to pick it up. Mm-hmm. And now I'm playing the demo with it. And like I said, it has 100% sold me. Actually getting your hands on this, and as you see, I, I fail sometimes. I try yeah. to climb things because I get stuck <laughs> in cabinets. But anyways, uh, that's enough. Uh, anyways, I didn't think it would be as fun, but like, there's a different feeling when you're actually skulking around and doing things and hiding and assassinating people. It just feels better. That is a demo I liked. Mirror's Edge demo. Mirror's Edge was a good demo, yeah. Um, but um, I don't want to read that. I definitely think it's a situational thing, right? I think it's a case of... You pick up that on the game like Overwatch, most definitely that game needed a beta to really sell people. Yeah. To make it understand because previously people were thinking like, is it a MOBA? Is it a shooter? It's some thing in between. How does kit picking champions is what people were calling it because they were comparing it to the legends. You know what? Like how do these? Uh, Let's get crazy with how it. How do these things work? And the beta was able to show that. Cut his arm. Oh. <gasps> yeah, Tell me that doesn't no look dope. No way. Tell me this doesn't look dope. Yeet. Bust him in the face. Let's go swing at him. Watch this. Oh, I'm going to block him. Watch. Yeet. Yeet. Oh, man. A beautiful frame drop. A little, a little, little frame drop. there for a second, but it was fine. Clark, this looks cool, doesn't it? That does look cool. The What's combat crazy, looks awesome. The thing that's fun about this, like, you can play this game, you just run around hacking and slashing people, or, or you can, you can run around. sneaky. You can do whatever you want. Because oh, I played it both ways. When oh, I played yeah. Dishonored. Another reason why I think. Uh, I, play, I was going to say, I played the first Dishonored twice. Yeah. One I stealth, and one I just. Oh, hello. You brought a sword to look um, oh no, it's about to get rowdy. One reason why I think Demo oh, Jesus, also man. fell out of uh, prominence <laughs> uh-huh. is because. Um, How do you even hit you? <laughs> He's like so far gaming, away. Have you noticed like gaming audiences are more critical? Yes. yes. So I think a lot of it is. You're going to die. They don't want to show. Don't die. A, a, Use your health. 
Ha ha. Um, they don't want to show a portion of the game that's not finished. <laughs> that is true. Or, or not ready yet. Like, uh, like it may have fr- uh, performance issues or... Uh, or it might be a totally different game, yeah, like might play it No Man's and, Sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people might play it now and just uh, or <sighs> play an early demo and be like, wait, like this... Uh, this feels different. Feels you think different you think they're the, worried that these demos could lead to lower sales. Yes. And um, I mean, people want their game out. And it might be, unfortunately, because they know their game isn't up to par. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, ma- Mass- imagine if Mass Effect Andromeda had a demo. Mm-hmm. And people were, were noticing the glitches there yeah they probably wouldn't have picked it up and oh yeah without a doubt a lot of companies are saying we'd rather just have the game sell than show a preview and minimize the amount of people that might pick wow. up the game because they've actually gotten their hands on it yeah and that might be a little sc- scummy but that's just the nature of how publishers have to uh, developers have to be now uh-huh so i think that's another i'm gonna choke this guy out and then what's cool is that you can choke people out, grab their body, and you can just straight up hide it. Oh, civilian saw me. Yeah, they'll freak out. But right, guess what? I already killed everyone, so who are they going to go tell? Oh, wow, that's pretty dark. Got them. That was very dark, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> time period, you just kind of like poke someone with a sword and be like, hey, disease. Yeah, disease. Oh, disease. Hepatitis. Yeah. Got Hepatitis the AIDS. now. You, just poke you got the, the old hepsy. Enjoy the hep, dude. Enjoy the hep. <laughs> so, yeah, other than that, so, what, Clark, you think demo should come back? That's your opinion? Yeah, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I, I would love to see demos come back. I miss because the old I enjoy demos. playing like great demos, like just something I can play for like three hours or something me? like that. Some small nothing. Yes, I definitely think um, due to how media has changed. Unfortunately, a lot of those quote unquote demo experiences do go to just people that are in the industry that get to play. Them. Yeah, yeah. And um, just so they think, can go back and tell people. Change, I think. They need to have open demos. Yeah, open demos definitely, because there are demos really for games. It's just a lot of them are, are being closed off mm-hmm. to people that and industry people only. Yeah, industry people like uh, two point eight, I believe, for instance, uh, people playing that. Yeah, they got um, their hands on it a little bit early. Yeah, and um, frustrating you know, for me. I'm sure you know, <laughs> like thirty minute demo that game would have. Uh, oh yeah, it would know. Sells a little bit just because they can get their hands on. It depends on the game though. It really does. Oh yeah. If it's kind of a buggy mess. Of a game, it can hurt it. It can hurt it. Like, yeah. So, you know, day one patch is probably a big thing. Crap. You know, imagine how many games have day one patches now, and the demo probably won't have that patch. Yeah. So it's not going to be performing well. So there's a lot of there's just new factors. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Yeah, the man. You're just bouncing on top of his head. Yeah, turn Mario Simulator. Mario Simulator, <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, but um, yeah, I think just there's a lot of factors that have changed it kind of the land in the landscape of gaming that mm-hmm. have kind of just change how demos are oh yeah i'm gonna keep it blunt i think demos should come back i like yeah. it i've had fun with this it made me want to buy the game so i think it could work for other games but i can also 100 percent see your opinion i think that i honestly think it would help because i think it would held held held, held hill do something It'll hold that's what, words are hard ladies and gentlemen <laughs> it'll hold uh developers like to a higher standard, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. They're not going to be... Well, they yes, have to deliver on their promises. Now are very reliant on the day one patch. Yeah. Of them are. And the fact that they'd have to already have glitches and everything finalized way before the game, that doesn't happen a lot. If you look at dates of games being released versus gold... It's kind of weird in this, like, uh, I guess, setting that every door has a deadbolt on it. Uh-huh. They really do not want people coming inside. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't want people. They don't want strangers. <laughs> like, yeah, we're going to make doors... So, so what should I do, guys? Should I ghost these guys? Just get right past them, murder them, strangle them? What should I do? You shoot the one. Of course, you kill them both. The face kill them both. Pounds. Yeah. That's not happen. Oh, I messed up. But that's fine. You know why? Because I'm about to watch this. He's gonna attack. Oh, oh, come on! Somebody attack. Yeet. Oh, hacked oh, his head you off. Just watch decapitated this. Yeet. Headbutt. Headbutt and just him. stab him Got in him. the chest. If you saw a dude walk up, walk up to you with this with his mask, what would you do? You gonna pick a fight with him? I'd run. I'd run for the hills. I mean, you know, most, uh, in that situation, you know, See, you, you kind of have to have loyalty to the guy that's paying you. I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You can't see. So here. you can't just sit there and like, you know what? I'm just gonna act like I didn't see you. Like I didn't see you. <laughs> like I don't. I don't He's know. Like man. you know what? I just he saw you decapitate my friend. I feel like a man with that mask is already made the decision. He's going to kill you. Uh, that is, is I don't true? know. If you start running, would you? And if I see that, would you chase me, Jared? Let's say if I was a bad guy, you're you're the guy with the mask, and I I see you decapitate my friend, and I just like, you know what? I'm out. 
I, would I, you chase me? I, well, chase me down like a dog I am? Unfortunately, I would look at his fate and say, I don't want that one. So, <laughs> that sucks. Sorry, bud. I'm not. Sorry, like, Chad. That one's weak. But, uh, Sorry, Chad. You said it done better. Yes, that is demo talk. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's demo talk. talk. Demo yeah. Talk for you. That's if. Come what do you guys think about to demos? the juice for some demo talk. If you want more demos to come back, let us know. Or do you think demos are outdated? Need to, demos need to die. Demos, demos need, need to die. Please let us know. I don't know. I mean, some people. Oh, might. I don't have any bullets left. But other than that, guys, this is Logan Clark and Jared from the Juice. Tune out. We'll catch you in the next video.